Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hi, everybody. Anja here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, while I'll answer some of your most common German questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I express feelings in German? Letting people know how you feel is an important part of daily conversation. That's why this lesson focuses on how to express emotions. Do you know how to say, I'm happy, I'm sad, or I'm sick in German? You will find out in this lesson. To express emotions in German, usually the subject is followed by the verb sein, to be, and then the adjective. This verb is commonly used to talk about your own feelings, can be used to talk about others' feelings, depending on the context. Let's do some examples so you can learn how to express your feelings in German. Let's start on a positive note. Ich bin glücklich. I am happy. Here we have the word ich meaning I, followed by the conjugated form of the verb sein, to be, and the adjective glücklich, happy. So, all together it means I am happy. Some examples are Du bist fröhlich. You are happy, pleased. Here we have the word du, meaning you, followed by bist, a conjugated form of the verb sein, to be, and the adjective fröhlich, glad. So, all together it means you are glad. Next, er ist unglücklich. He is unhappy. Here we have the word er, meaning he, followed by ist, a conjugated form of the verb sein, to be, and the adjective glücklich, unhappy. So all together it means he is unhappy. Wir sind traurig. We are sad. Here we have the word wir, meaning we, followed by sind, a conjugated form of the verb sein, to be, and the adjective traurig, sad. So all together it means we are sad. Next, wir sind verwirrt, durcheinander. They are confused. Here we have the word sie, meaning they, followed by sind, a conjugated form of the verb sein, to be, and the adjective verwirrt, durcheinander, confused. So all together it means they are confused. Ihr seid zufrieden. You all are satisfied. Here we have the word ihr, meaning you. Plural followed by seid, the conjugated form of the verb sein, to be, and the adjective zufrieden, satisfied. So altogether it means you are satisfied. When you express your feelings in German, you almost always use adjectives. That's why the letters are all written in lowercase. Please check out a full list of conjugations for the verb sein, to be, in the lesson notes. How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal. Hi everybody, Anja here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common German questions. The question for this lesson is, what are some of the most common German proverbs? German has some really interesting proverbs. In this lesson, we'll go over some of them. First up is the expression abwarten und Tee trinken. This literally means to wait and drink tea. This is a common phrase used when you want to express your patience about something. For example, if you applied for university and you need to wait for the results, you can use this expression. Next, we have the expression alte Liebe rostet nicht, which means old love doesn't rust. For example, imagine you haven't seen an ex for many years then suddenly they come back into your life and the flame rekindles. In that case, one might use this expression. Next up is einen Bären aufbinden, literally meaning to untie a bear. If someone tells you a story and you don't think he or she is telling the truth, you can say he or she's untying a bear, which actually means I don't believe you at all. Another interesting idiom is auf den Schlips treten, which literally means to step on the necktie. If you offend someone, you might say, Entschuldige, ich wollte dir nicht auf den Schlips treten. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to step on your necktie. Let's go over a few more. Alles in Butter. Literally, everything is in butter. If someone asks you, are you okay? You can tell this person, yeah, alles in Butter. Yes, everything is fine. The next one is auf die Pelle rücken. Literally meaning to move to the skin. The imagery is quite self-explanatory. If you imagine someone being too close to you physically, you can comment on his or her behavior by saying, du rückst mir auf die Pelle. Literally, you bother me. Last, we have Übung macht den Meister. Literally, practice makes the master. Imagine your friend is practicing something really hard, but just isn't quite there yet. You can tell him or her, Übung macht den Meister. Practice makes perfect. How was this lesson? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Tschüss, bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye, see you in another series. Hi, my name is Elisa. Welcome to the top 25 German phrases. Let's get started. Hallo, hello. Hallo, hello. It's usually used between friends and usually you add hallo, wie geht's? It's hello, how are you? Guten Morgen, good morning. Guten Morgen, good morning. And obviously it's used in the morning. Very casual would be just morning. Morgen, guten Tag, good afternoon. Guten Tag means good afternoon or good day. You don't usually say it to friends. Guten Tag. <laughs> Na klar, of course. Na klar means of course. I actually use it a lot. It's very casual. Uh, kannst du mein Auto heute waschen? Na klar. Um, that would be really, actually, really good. But uh, it means, can you wash my car today? Of course. <laughs> Who wouldn't want that, right? Wie heißen Sie? What's your name? Wie heißen Sie means, what's your name? Wie heißen Sie is a very formal way um, to say it. Between friends, it would be more, wie heißt du? Wie heißen Sie? Ich heiße Alisa. What's your name? My name is Elisa. Ich bin, I am. Ich bin heute gut drauf. Uh, I am in a really good mood today. Ich bin im Urlaub. I am on vacation. Wie geht es Ihnen? How are you? Wie geht es Ihnen? And then, mir geht es gut. How are you? I am good. Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Nice to meet you. Hallo, wie geht's? Es freut mich, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, how are you? Nice to meet you is a very common sentence. Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? Mir geht es gut, danke. Und Ihnen? I'm fine, thanks. And you? It's the answer to uh, if you get asked, wie geht es Ihnen? So when you're talking to friends, you can actually say, mir geht es gut, danke. Und dir? Bitte. Please. Bitte also means you're welcome. Danke, dass du heute einkaufen warst. Ach, uh, bitte. Thank you uh, for going grocery shopping today. You're welcome. Bis später. See you later. Bis später, see you later, uh, bis gleich, means when um, you're actually meeting in maybe five to ten minutes. And bis später is used mostly, for example, in the morning and you're going to meet uh, during the evening. Hallo, sollen wir heute essen gehen? Ja, gerne. Ja, dann bis später. Uh, hello, should we go have um, something to eat today? Yes, sure. See you later. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Ich glaube schon. I think so. Meinst du, wir können heute was trinken gehen? Ich glaube schon. Um, yeah, do you think we can go have drinks tonight? I think so. Ich glaube schon is kind of like an uncertain thing to say. Danke. Thank you. 
Danke. Thank you. Danke is a very casual between friends and the family. Wie geht es dir heute? Danke, sehr gut. How are you today? Thank you. I am fine. Gern geschehen. You're welcome. Ja, danke, dass du mir beim Umzug geholfen hast. Gern geschehen. Thank you for helping me move. You're welcome. Ja, yes. Ja means yes. And of course, it's a very, very common word in German. You use it all the time when you're listening to someone. Ja. Gehst du heute, kannst du heute bitte mit dem Hund spazieren gehen? Ja. Can you take the dog for a walk today? Yes. Nein. No. Nein. No. Hast du am Samstag Zeit? Uh, nein, leider nicht. Um, are you free on Saturday? No, sorry, I'm not. Just saying nein is a little bit rude, so people just add no, I am not free. Okay, okay. It's more used with uh, friends and family and not at work. Place. When I was a child, I wasn't allowed to say okay, for example, I, yeah, I had to say yes or no, ja, nein. And of course, okay is also used, uh, for example, wie geht es dir? Oh, mir geht's okay. And how are you? I'm okay. Kannst du mir vielleicht eine Kamera heute ausleihen? Okay. Could you lend me your camera today? Okay. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung. Excuse me. Entschuldigung, Sie haben gerade Ihre Schlüssel verloren. Uh, excuse me, you just dropped your keys. So yeah, excuse me and uh, I'm sorry means both. Entschuldigung. It's a very formal way to ask somebody for a favor. Kein Problem. No problem. Kein Problem. No problem. It's a very common sentence. I use it all the time. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. Kein Problem. <laughs> If somebody's gonna be late or, um, yeah, ich komme erst in 10 Minuten. KP <laughs> means no problem. Wie viel Uhr ist es? What time is it? <laughs> yes, obviously, when you want to know the time, uh, you ask this and it's used at work. It's neither formal or casual. You can use it with friends. You're in the city and you forgot your watch. Entschuldigen Sie, wie viel Uhr ist es? Excuse me, what time is it? It's a very common phrase and used everywhere. Einen Moment bitte. One moment please. You bought something and you want to return it. Entschuldigen Sie, ich würde gerne äh, etwas zurückschicken. Einen Moment bitte. Excuse me, I would like to return something. One moment, please. Ich hätte gerne. I would like. Ich hätte gerne einen Salat mit Pommes. I would like a salad with fries. I would like a water. <laughs> Wie viel macht das? How much is it? Ich hätte gerne ein Kleid für eine Hochzeit. Wie viel macht das? Uh, I would like a dress for a wedding. How much is it? Zahlen bitte. The check please. Zahlen bitte. The check please. When you're ordering something and uh, you're finished and uh, you want um, to pay, you usually say to the... Waiter or waitress, uh, zahlen bitte. <laughs> Hilfe. Help. Hilfe. <laughs> help. Hilfe, like help, is when you're in need of something or you can't do it by yourself. You scream or you say, Hilfe. <laughs> ja, ich bräuchte... Uh, Hilfe heute Abend. I need help tonight. 
Thank you for watching. Today we did the top 25 German phrases. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye. <laughs> We're done? Cut. Want to speak real German from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at GermanPod101.com. Hello, everybody. Welcome to top 15 questions you should know for conversations. My name is Elisa and let's get started. Magst du deutsches Essen? Do you like German food? Magst du deutsches Essen? Do you like German food? Eines meiner Lieblingsspeisen aus Deutschland sind Knödel. One of my favorite German foods is Knödel. It actually is made of potatoes. It's like a potato powder and you um, boil it in water. It's very German actually. Um, it's called Knödel. Wann ist dein Geburtstag? When is your birthday? Wann ist dein Geburtstag? When is your birthday? Mein Geburtstag ist am 6. Januar. My birthday is on January 6th. It's actually another German holiday. <laughs> so remember my birthday and send me birthday gifts. <laughs> I'm joking. Warst du schon einmal in Deutschland? Have you been to Germany? Warst du schon einmal in Deutschland? Wenn, falls ihr schon mal in Deutschland wart, um, würde ich das würde ich gerne eure Geschichten hören. Um, if you've ever been to Germany, let me know your stories and leave it in the comments. Was hast du gesagt? What did you say? If you are learning German and you don't understand the German people when they're talking fast, it's, um, yeah, you can say that. Like, what, was hast du gesagt? What did you say? Was ist das? What's this? Was ist das? What's this? If you uh, don't know a word in German or if you see something that you haven't seen before, you usually say, was ist das? What's this? So, uh, was ist das? Um, yeah, das ist ein Fernseher. What's this? This is a TV. Oh my God, of course. <laughs> Wie alt bist du? How old are you? Wie alt bist du? How old are you? Wie heißt du? Wie alt bist du? Um, yeah, what's your name? How old are you? And uh, to, if you are trying to get to know someone, and that's a very common question. Wie geht es dir? How are you? Wie geht es dir? How are you? Heute geht es mir blendend. Um, Today I am really great. Uh, wie geht es dir is something that you kind of add to, like Hallo, wie geht es dir? Hello, how are you? Wie ist dein Name? What's your name? Wie ist dein Name? What's your name? Mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Elisa. So what's your name? Remember that one. And don't forget the name, you know. Wie lange lernst du schon Deutsch? How long have you been studying German? Wie lange lernst du schon Deutsch? How long have you been studying German? Ich würde gerne wissen, wie lange ihr schon Deutsch lernt. Um, yeah, how, I'm curious to know how long have you been studying German? Leave me in the comments, since I read them. Wie lautet deine Telefonnummer? What's your phone number? Wie lautet deine Telefonnummer? What's your phone number? I think it's important if you're in a country that you don't know and you're new, you're trying to connect and so try to meet as much people as possible, get their phone numbers and meet them again. And so uh, remember this question. Wo arbeitest du? Where do you work? Wo arbeitest du? Where do you work? You know, some people who go maybe for a year to Germany to learn the language, they have a side job that they, um, they're working on. That's a good way too to learn German because every day you'll be speaking in uh, German anyways. So 
Wo hast du Deutsch gelernt? Where did you learn German? Wo hast du Deutsch gelernt? Where did you learn German? Ja, ich würde gerne wissen, wo ihr Deutsch gelernt habt. Entweder in der Schule oder vielleicht bei einer Gastfamilie. Um, yeah, I'm curious to know where did you learn German? Maybe at a language school or maybe you went to Germany for a few months with the host family. I would love to know, um, of course, besides German pod, where did you learn German? Wo kommst du her? Where are you from? Wo kommst du her? Where are you from? Ich würde ge gerne wissen, woher ihr kommt. Um, yeah, I would love to know where you are from. Wo lebst du? Where do you live? Wo lebst du? Where do you live? Ich würde gerne wissen, falls ihr schon mal Deutschland besucht habt, wo ihr da gelebt habt. Um, I would love to know where you were living in Germany when you visited or if you've been there for a while, where did you live? Was ist deine Lieblingsstadt in Deutschland? What is your favorite city in Germany? Was ist deine Lieblingsstadt in Deutschland? What is your favorite city in Germany? I don't really have a favorite German city because I have a lot in Germany. Like I couldn't say this is the my favorite city. I think a lot are very pretty and special and very different. Thank you for watching the top 15 questions you should know for conversations. Leave in the comments your answers and don't forget to subscribe and see you soon. Bye! Yay! Hi, it's Elisa. Welcome to a new video lesson. 10 lines you need to know for introducing yourself. Let's begin! My name is Alisa. My name is Elisa. My name is Alisa. What's your name? Was ist dein Name? Hallo, es ist schön, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hallo, es ist schön, Sie kennenzulernen. Hello, it is nice to meet you. As in English, when you introduce yourself and you meet somebody for the first time, you just add, of course, Es ist schön, Sie kennenzulernen. It is nice to meet you. Eines meiner Hobbys ist, mit meinem Hund spazieren zu gehen. One of my hobbies is to walk my dog. Eines meiner Hobbys ist, mit meinem Hund spazieren zu gehen. One of my hobbies is to walk my dog. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know that I have a dog, a German Shepherd, and I actually love to go on a walk with him and play with his ball, he loves it. Yeah, what is your hobby? Ich bin Jahre alt. I am years old. Ich bin Punkt, Punkt, Punkt Jahre alt. I am dot, dot, dot years old. Wie alt bist du? How old are you? Ich bin Grafik- und Textildesignerin. I'm a graphic and textile designer. Ich bin is used for many, many things. It's something you should definitely um, learn and memorize because it's for almost everything. Ich, ich bin hungrig, I'm hungry. So ich bin in this case is referred to your profession. So please tell me what do you do? Ich komme aus Deutschland. I am from Germany. Ich komme aus Deutschland. I am from Germany. Woher kommst du? Where are you from? Leave me in the comments. Ich höre gerne Musik. I enjoy listening to music. Ich höre gerne Musik. I enjoy listening to music. What is your favorite kind of music? Was ist deine Lieblingsmusik? Ich lebe in... Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. I live in... Ich lebe in Punkt, Punkt, Punkt. I live in blank. Ich lebe in Köln. I live in Cologne. I used to live there, now I don't, but uh, Cologne is a very fun city. If you have a chance, go visit. Um, yeah, where do you live? Wo lebst du? Leave in the comments. Ich lerne seit Punkt, Punkt, Jahren Deutsch. I've been learning German for dot 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 years. Ich lerne seit 
Punkt, Punkt, Deutsch. I've been learning German for blank. Obviously, I grew up uh, talking German. Ich lerne Deutsch auf germanpod101.com. I'm learning German at germanpod101.com. Ich lerne Deutsch auf germanpod101.com. I'm learning German at germanpod101.com. How long have you been learning German with germanpod101.com? Thank you for watching the top 10 lines you need to know for introducing yourself. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave me in the comments what was your favorite line. Bye! Back to the basics. <laughs> Mein Name ist Alisa. My name is Elisa. So that is a very important sentence you need to know. Okay, that was so not funny. Hi. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Henrik. Welcome to a new lesson of GermanPod101.com. Today I'm going to teach you about top 10 compliments you always want to hear. A very great lesson, if I think, because who doesn't love to hear compliments? So it's good to have some in your, the back of your pocket to share whenever somebody deserves it. Let's go! First compliment, very important one. Du bist gut aussehend. You look handsome. Instead of du bist gut aussehend, you could also say du siehst gut aus. Or just easy, du bist hübsch. Like you're pretty. Just say it when you really mean it, okay? <laughs> I don't know. You know when to use this compliment. I don't have to explain to you, I think. So, yeah, second in line. Second word for um, today is, or second sentence for today is, Du bist schlau. You're smart. Uh, also, alternatives to this, you could say, Du bist clever. I think that's a very cool uh, compliment. Who wouldn't like to be called or seen as smart? Number three, and that's the one which should come from your heart, really. It's Du bist ein toller Freund. You are an awesome friend. It's the compliment you would go with for your good ones, for your buddies. Okay, I come up with another little bit cheesy one. Deine inneren Werte sind noch schöner als dein äußeres. Your inside is even more beautiful than your outside. As I said, a bit cheesy, but I mean, okay, if you really like someone and he is really pretty, but you want to point out that he's not only pretty from the outside, which could be very superficial, but also has a very beautiful soul or you just feel connecting very well with that person, you could go for this compliment. Ihr Lebenslauf ist beeindruckend. Your resume is impressive. Yeah, if you show somebody your CV, what you've done in life, oh, I went to high school, I went to a university in three different countries, and I worked in four different continents, and I probably visited five planets, then that's a very impressive resume. So resume in German is Lebenslauf, and if you show it to somebody and um, he says, wow, dein Lebenslauf is echt beeindruckend, that's a good compliment. That means you should probably apply for the best company ever. Großartige Arbeit. Great job. That's a cool one. I use it very often. It's like really just go for it and everybody likes to receive a little bit of a good feedback for uh, the work he has done or if it's just like a little kid painting a picture. Gute Arbeit. Großartige Arbeit. Even more. Um, great job. That's a compliment you could always go with. Du hast einen guten Geschmack. You have a good taste. You could say this for the clothes, like, wow, die Jacke steht dir, du hast einen guten Geschmack, so you can combine those. That jacket looks good on you, you have a good taste. But of course this also works for music and movies, kind of for everything which you can have a good or bad taste of. So I kind of really like this compliment, as you can connect with people by it. Dein Lächeln ist wunderschön, your smile is beautiful. To me that's a very nice compliment, because I just really like smiley people. I like when I talk to a person which is happy, which is smiling and it's just a lot more fun and enjoyable, entertaining to talk with a person who's smiling. It's just nice, right? Du siehst wunderschön aus. You look gorgeous. This one really reminds me um, of my time abroad in the US because back in time I didn't know how to pronounce gorgeous so I used to say gorgeous and there was this girl and I used this word and I said oh you look gorgeous and she really laughed, so 
uh, kind of figured after a time she liked it, so I don't know if she thought it was cute or whatever. So I just kept saying George's cos or Du hast einen tollen Sinn für Humor. You have a great sense of humor. So this is a very important one to me, cause well, if you want to spend a lot of time with someone, let's say girlfriend, boyfriend, later wife, or even your best friend, I believe you kind of need to share the same kind of humor or the same sense of humor. If you have a person and you spend time with and you have lots of good laughs together, then just tell them, wow, you have a great sense of humor. They even probably will feel encouraged to keep yeah, being their way. I hope you found some good compliments to give to your friends or boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever, to the people you like. If you feel a compliment is fitting for them, just tell them the compliment. Everybody likes compliments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao, ciao. I have a good example for how you could say, Du hast ein wunderschönes Lächeln. Your smile is beautiful. This boy's smile is so beautiful, isn't it? Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.